Hey everybody, I'm here at Target right now and I need to get some anointing oil. So I wanted to take you guys with me to show you how easy it is to get your own anointing oil. Anointing oil represents the anointing, the Holy Spirit. It represents the power of God. So um, we don't got to put too much emphasis on the oil but it's just a, an act of faith. It, um, we consecrate it. So I'm literally here at Target. Just to show you guys how easy it is to get some um, some oil. I'm going to be looking for olive oil. And I'm going to take you in the store actually with me. And then pray over it in the car when I come back and get it. Alright? So stay tuned. Okay, so here's all the oils. I'm in Target right now. You can literally use any oil. Corn oil. I'm using olive oil because that's what they use in the Bible. Um, but don't overthink it. They have so many kinds of oils. Um, preferably I'm going to use pure oil, pure olive oil. If they had cold pressed, I would use that just because cold pressed is, um, less processed. But like I said, don't overthink it. Um, so I'm literally just going to get the pure one, pure olive oil. All right. Okay, so I literally just got done at Target. I got my pure olive oil. Like I said, it could be any kind of oil. It could be castor oil. Um, I've even heard of people using motor oil because they really needed oil and that's all they had. But if we're doing this in faith, so as we get your oil, don't use the oil for cooking and other things. This oil's gotta be set apart, used for praying, for laying on of hands, for anointing people, anointing your home, anointing your children, anointing your pets, whatever you're anointing. So make sure that this oil is set apart for a specific reason. Don't use it for anointing people and for cooking and doing other things. Just use it for anointing people, all right? So we're just gonna pray over it because the prayer is what activates it. The prayer of faith is what's gonna activate the oil. So. Father God, we just thank you for this oil that you've um, provided for us. And we just pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit um, um, saturates every molecule of this oil. We pray that everything that this oil touches, that it represents your anointing, that it is your anointing. For we know that um, that your the anointing is what breaks yokes, that what break is what breaks bondage. And we just thank you for the power that is in the name of Jesus. We thank you for consecrating this oil to be set apart and used for your glory, for your purpose, as led by the Holy Spirit. And we just thank you, Father God, for everything that this oil touches, um, and for it being consecrated unto you in the name of Jesus. All right, that's literally all there is to it. And like I said, it's all in faith. So this oil is now consecrated to the Lord. It's not cooking oil anymore. It's it's anointing oil. So you don't really have to go out and buy fancy expensive oils or, you know, fragranced oils. Those are nice, but it's the oil. It's the act of faith is what sets it apart. All right. So I bless you all in Jesus name. If you want more information, just YouTube um, anointing oil, learning about the anointing oil, how they used it in the Bible. What's it for? Um, the Bible says if someone's sick, let that call the elders of the church and let them anoint you with oil and pray over you that you may be well. It's all over the Bible, the anointing oil. All right. So do your research, do your study time. And I bless you all in Jesus name. Shal Shalom. <laughs>